I'm, I'm sleeping with a baby. I'm waking up every two hours. I fell asleep because I was waiting for you because you weren't ready to go to jacuzzi as we agreed. Who the fuck is? We agreed nothing. <laughs> you agreed. You just fucking expect shit. Go to the goddamn jacuzzi yourself. Go to fuck the fucking jacuzzi. It's a thing. A jacuzzi? What's that? How could they be that upset? He could be that upset over a jacuzzi run. What the f- hell Did, is he doing? Doesn't he get a ton of pussy? I mean, I mean, what does he need her for? What's he obsessing on her for? Well, people like to have relationships. Yeah, huh? yeah so they can you yell. Gotta, you gotta. So they can yell. Settle on someone. Mm. Just, fucking soul. I didn't blame you for and anything. I was just waiting and sleeping. You have no fucking soul. You can't give a fuck. I left my wife because we had no spiritual common ground. You and I have none. You won't even fucking try. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, Mel? They say that's from drinking. Yeah, you yeah. know, Whoopi says this rant isn't on drinking. This is all <laughs> drinking. What's wrong with her? You don't care. You don't care. You just enjoy insulting me. That's all. Fuck you. The- I so fucking do because you hurt me so bad. I didn't do anything. I did not do anything, and I apologize for nothing. I did not do anything, and I apologize for nothing. What? What? I apologize for nothing? Stop. Stop Stop screaming. I wanted to peace. I wanted to have peace. Because because you are balanced. Good enough for me, and instinctively, I feel that. You are unbalanced. Be patronized by you. You are unbalanced. You need medication. Because you know you're wrong. You need medication. It's all I'll accept. And if you will not fucking admit that, get the fuck out. And I will make your goddamn life miserable. All right? You need medication. What? (laughs) What? (laughs) You need medication. A dysfunctional cunt. I need a fucking woman. I don't need medication. You need a fucking bat in the side of the head. All right? How about that? You need a fucking doctor. You need a fucking brain transplant. You need a fucking... You need a fucking soul. I need medication. I need someone who fucking treats me like a man. Like a human being. With kindness. Who understands what gratitude is because I fucking bend over backwards with my balls in a knot. That's my other favorite line. I bend balls. over backwards with a, my balls in a knot. knot. <laughs> That's gross. Oh, yeah, he's really breaking the bricks out there now. Yeah. To do it all for her and she gives me shit like a fucking sour look. Or says I'm mean. The fuck is that? This is mean. Get it? You get it now? What mean is? I can't listen to this anymore. Do you hang up? I'm coming over there. I'll call the police. What? I'll call the police. <laughs> you fucking cunt. I'm coming to my house. You're in my house, honey. <laughs> yes, but you, honey, don't call me, honey. You just You're call me. in my house. <laughs> so I'll call the police and tell them there's someone in my house. How about that? You can do that. That's fine. Fuck you. I don't involve, I don't involve the police in anything because I stand up for myself. You, you weak. You call the fucking cops. <laughs> then I will go to Alessia's right now. Why don't you fuck off to that cunt bitch Alicia's? She was fucking making eyes at me. She'd have sucked me in five seconds. Yeah. Take that one up with her. <laughs> I was trying to spare your goddamn feelings. She'd have blown me in five seconds. She's not your friend. You don't have any fucking friends except me. And you treat me like shit. So that's why I'm so fucking angry. Because I don't have any friends. And I try and make one for you, and you treat me like shit, and you fucking use me. The career is over, and boy, when I said that, you lit out of here faster than I've ever seen you before. And now you'll be at Alicia's place. You just showed me what you are. Absolutely 
unequivocally. I don't care if you don't spend There's another penny. Listen, Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. I don't. Listen to me, Mel. What? I don't give a damn if you don't spend another penny on me. I don't care. I am just. I am just fearing for the life of my daughter. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm. Because I'm saving my life and I'm saving daughter's life. That's what I'm doing. I'm I don't give a damn about my music and I don't give a damn about you spending another penny. I'm saving her life. Yeah, well, you're awful angry for that. You almost killed us. Did you forget? <laughs> you were hitting a woman with a child in her hands. You, what kind of men is that? Hitting a woman when she's holding a child in her hand, breaking her teeth twice in the face. What kind of men is that? No, you're all angry now. You're gonna get you know to. You know what? Sir. You're gonna answer one day, boy. You're gonna answer. Huh? Bear. What? What? what are you nothing. Me? Nothing. I'm not the one to threaten. I'm threatening. I'll put you in a fucking rose garden, you cunt. You understand that? Because I'm capable of it. You understand that? Get a fucking restraining order. For what? What are you going to get a restraining order for? <laughs> for me being drunk and disorderly? For hitting you? For what? Oh, man, that's Ooh. a good tape. It happens. You know what? It, the only thing that <laughs> you, even rivals it is that Jack Nicholson <laughs> a rant from Carnal Knowledge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's some good stuff. All you should do is blow me. Smile. Smile and blow me. And yeah. then I like he's putting down a friend because the friend wants him, too. Everybody wants him. <laughs> the friend would have blown me in two minutes. She's not your friend. She you don't have, have friend. any friends. You better get a restraining order to call the police. What are you getting a restraining order for? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you. Wow. It's unbelievable. I don't even know where to begin with that, but Whoopi's defending him on The View. Maybe maybe when she hears this tape, she'll get it through her fucking thick head that the guy's a mental case. Yeah, that wh whoever she knew doesn't exist or was just hiding right. all this time. A racist, fucking asshole, dumb... If he ain't a racist, I don't know who is. He's got, and, and people don't even understand what a racist is. He's got the Jew thing, he's got the gay thing. You know, years ago, this kind of almost all blew up on him when he went after the gays, but I, like I said... Somebody calmed him down? Uh, yeah, he was. it was a newspaper interview, I guess, I don't know. Here, here's what he said. They asked him about homosexuals. He said, they take it up the ass. Um, he then laughed, got up, bent over, pointed to his butt, and continued, this is only for taking a shit. The interviewer recalled that Gibson previously had expressed fear that people would think he's gay because he's an actor. Um, I don't lend myself to that type of confusion. Do I sound like a homosexual? Do I talk like them? Do I move like them? And he, I don't know, he went into some kind of fucking crazy thing. And, you know, so, all right, he got away with that. And he got away with the Jew thing. And look with Jodie Forster. She's right in the middle of making a movie with him. She got over it, you know. It, right, no everybody's deal. still trying to work with the idiot. Yeah, but once you once you get into the N-word, that's, that's it, baby. Party over. And this shit, too, about women. and He's done. He's done. So he's evidently, according to the paper I read today, that he was in the middle of making a movie with Jodie Foster about a crazy guy who lo who has a beaver puppet. And loves to make the... He talks everything through the beaver puppet. Yeah, I know there was a movie called The Beaver. I didn't know yeah. what the heck that was. It's Mel Gibson as the beaver. <laughs> and he ha he walks around. They got a picture of him holding a big beaver puppet. <laughs> I might have to see well, this. Well, you know, he is in character, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And every time like you talk to him, he talks to you through the beaver puppet. <laughs> he can't talk to himself. <laughs> the beaver talk. And I guess Jodie Foster, the only person to play this part would be Mel Gibson. She couldn't find any other actor. There's no other actor. Well, everybody else was too sane. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Probably the level of anger was best exemplified by Jack Nicholson. <laughs> but that was a movie. This is real yeah, life. Yeah, but Jack had to know that anger. <laughs> you are trying to kill me. <laughs> you just... Yeah. Why now? Because two years ago, I slept... Eight hours. A year ago it was 12. It's up to 15 now. Pretty soon it's going to be 24. What are you trying to do? Scare me? 